The Minister of State for Disability Affairs, alongside other stakeholders, today at Media Center, discussed matters regarding sign language interpretation for the deaf people. Robert Nkwangu, the director of Uganda Resuscitation of the Deaf, asserted that sign language is at stake as there are many infiltrators that have destroyed its quality, questioning its sustainability. The quality of sign language is at stake. So sustainability will be a very big question moving forward. Also, the people have become passive recipients of all programs during the design that not included. He states that the deaf as a community have been neglected and people are exploiting the language and using it for different purposes. He suggests that the deaf should be in the lead of the sign language. The deaf people should be in the lead. I repeat, they should be in the lead on all matters concerning sign language because they're the native users. Also, professional sign language interpreters must be certified, accredited with a good code of ethics, and also be put in clear public service structures to hope the response. The Minister of State for Disability Affairs, Honorable Samuel Helen Grace, affirms that Chambogo is the only credible institution registered to teach sign language besides all other training centers. In Uganda, we only have Uganda Chambogo University as a university that has been registered to teach sign language interpretation. And anybody who goes to Chambogo University gets a diploma. And in that diploma, it is something that you have to graduate. We are now at a discussion whether to make it a degree subject so that it comes on board. Honorable Samo notes that the government is taking up steps to curb the infiltration of sign language perpetrators. The sign language interpreters, not the deaf people, have now formed what they call an association. But it's still in the infancy. They are trying to register the association. They are trying to get the members, an association that we know each other as a club, like we have the lawyers, like you have the doctors, you have the nurses. So that in case you are fake and you are not a member of this community, we shall discover that you are not part of it. She suggests that the language should be inclusive, mainly for the deaf community, so as to control the amount of infiltration. Let sign language be captured under URSB so that it's protected as a language for deaf people. So that for us who are outside and yet not yet deaf, should not be using it anyhow until you are trained to use the proper language. To commemorate the International Deaf Awareness Week that commenced on Monday under the theme Sign Up for Sign Language Rights. Hope Nyongereza, Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.